and you out. You praise God, the choir sang, you ran around the church, you've done all of that, you received the offering, you've done all of that in an hour and 15 minutes. And so, bless God, uh, I'm going to do my best uh, to fall in line and embrace and incorporate into the house uh, a county church spirit. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Joshua, word of the Lord, starting at the sixth verse, finds us that the children of Judah came unto Joshua. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the uh, 14th chapter. I guess that would help. <laughs> 14 starting at the 6th verse then the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gilead and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the uh, Kenzanite said unto them thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses the man of God concerning me and thee and Kadesh Barnea Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land. And I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Right. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. Right. But I wholly follow the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years. Even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heard in that day how the Anakins were there and that the cities were great and friends. If so, be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him and gave unto him Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Hebron, for an inheritance. I want to talk to you for a few moments and pose a question contextually. How bad do you want it? Ask your neighbor, neighbor. How bad do you want it? Find another neighbor and ask that neighbor, neighbor, how bad do you want it? Now you gotta ask your own self, self, how bad do I really want it? You can be seated in the household of faith. Uh, I'm finding uh, that we have uh, opportunity today now more than ever uh, to acknowledge the tenacity of many of our forefathers. Uh, our societal uh, uh, place that we are today has forced us to uh, recognize and to uh, re-energize and to educate generations who are oblivious or completely unaware of the fight that our forefathers had to go through to bring us to the place that we are today. Uh, many uh, people today, and I won't just say young people because our uh, ignorance is bliss in a multiplicity level of generations. Uh, because many 
of our uh, schools did not educate us intentionally on the historic uh, strength we had as a people. Much of our education left us uh, believing that uh, we were our slaves, but yet after slavery was over, uh, that we were still yet depending on slave masters in order to survive. Uh, but what they failed to oftentimes teach us in the schools uh, was things like Tulsa, Oklahoma, in which there was a thriving black community.
Christ. 